It's time for the Friday Night Spotlight on Ripper Radio. I'd like to welcome Jeff from Extermination Order to the Ripper Radio Podcast. How are you doing tonight? Doing great. How are you doing tonight? I'm just fine. Awesome. Uh, I'd like to start off with a little history of the band, um, how to get you started, whatnot. Sounds good, man. Well, the Extermination Order Band is a family rotated band that started uh, about 10 years ago uh, when my son was actually only about eight years old. Uh, it was just a little project that me and him did I, to introduce him into uh, playing music. He's a drummer of the band, and we just, you know, started off playing a couple of simple songs here and there and just working on things. So it was just a, a father-son thing that we did and throughout the years, and it um, kind of died off a little bit when Dad went and played for a death metal band for a few years, and then I played for a hard rock band. and So it's been kind of an in-and-out situation. And then in the last year or so, uh, we played this one show uh, up in Denver, Colorado, uh, with Extermination Order, and I found out how much people loved it, and so I quit everything else and put 100% into the Extermination Order band, and so now me and my son are just keeping it alive and keeping it hard and fast, so that's uh, basically the history of that, and uh, we're going to keep it moving as going as fast as we can. <laughs> Uh, so, so like you have been in other bands, so what's your musical background? Uh, I started back in the uh, late uh, mid-80s, um, played in a thrash band um, uh, down in Miami, Florida. Let's say we're not going to mention the band name, <laughs> but uh, we were a pretty good-sized band that toured up and down the East Coast a lot. Um, and then uh, I got out of uh, music altogether for about 10 or so years, uh, where I was actually a fireman. Yep, that's me, Fireman Jeff. I uh, worked uh, three or four different departments and kind of uh, did the fireman thing, uh, actually working at a fire academy as well. And then uh, due to a, a back surgery, uh, doctor said I needed to you know, quit doing the fireman gig, so I I retired from that and went music 100%. And uh, it's just been balls to the wall, baby, all ever since. <laughs> uh, what are your, some, some of your musical influences? Man, it dates back to freaking Black Sabbath. You know, I'm a big Sabbath fan. I love Ozzy. Uh, and, uh, if you want to go even further back, man, my, 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 my mom raised me on uh, one of my favorite 50s and 60s bands, Buddy Holly. I just love Buddy Holly. And then it, uh, from there, it went to like, uh, Black Sabbath. I uh, got into some of the older Metallica. I can't say I like the newer stuff, but I love the older stuff. And Megadeth, like my favorite band of all time. Um, Iron Maiden, Slayer, and of course Pantera. Uh, and then you know, got some of the newer stuff that's coming out now. I uh, kind of like some of the grindcore and some of the porn grind and some of the harder stuff like that that's coming out. And anyway, shit. Um, um, you know, like classic rock. Uh, you know, uh, Led Zeppelin, bands like that. Um, I hate freaking anything else, man, like country or hip hop or that kind of stuff. I like to keep that stuff, man. But I just, uh, I like a, I'm an older guy, man, like 46 years old. I've kind of been, music's been my whole life. Uh, it's been all I've ever known, man. It's just a big part of music. It's been a rough upbringing for me, so music was always my way out, man. Just, you know, put on my headphones and my, and my CD player or my cassette player back in the day and sit back and listen to music. And so, it's just always been, you know, big in my heart, you know. So even with my age being 46, I'm still pushing hard. And now I got my son involved, and it's me and him now. It's just like I'm reborn again. Dude. It's just like I feel young again. And we play up on stage, and it's just like, oh, my God. It's just like I feel like I'm in my 20s again, you know. So, yeah, let's kick ass. Uh, any future plans for the band? Um, <laughs> Yeah, we got some shows coming up. Um, we're gonna stay in the DFW area. Uh, right now, uh, I'm working on a couple of festivals I'm trying to get into down in the Houston area. Uh, we're hoping that the band we can get, uh, we've been missing some band members 
and uh, slowly but surely we're starting to uh, fill those spots and uh, as soon as we get all the spots filled back up uh, we're looking forward to a tour uh, sometime in this like in the fall around uh, September or November uh, so other than that man I'm hoping that you know someday we can get picked up on a label or something and maybe go on a beer tour uh, we're going to be working on a new uh a video here soon. Uh, I want to get the video done for Last Breath, uh, and then just push forward, man. I got another album that we want to make. Uh, we've been holding back on that, trying to get all the band members together. That way, it would be a group effort. Because uh, I mean, the songs that you hear now are just basically all me and my son. What we put together throughout the last seven years or so. So it's just uh, waiting to try to get the everybody together again and try to get back on the road. And because uh, I love touring and love playing in front of new people and meeting new people. So right on. Um, how can I get a hold of your current EP or any music from? <laughs> well, we're uh, we got a contract through CD Baby. So anywhere CD Baby's got, which is everywhere, man, Spotify. Google Plus, uh, Google, uh, man, you name it, we're everywhere. iTunes, uh, of course, you can get our links through Facebook or Instagram or uh, Twitter. We're everywhere, I mean, it could possibly be. Just plug your name in and it, it'll come up everywhere. Right now, we've got our album going out for, you know, it's online, probably pay about seven bucks. Uh, you, you call me, man, or get that some of these through Facebook. You know, I can mail it out to you for maybe a little cheaper if you want it that way. Or <clears throat> we could even do a PayPal account thing. I can give you a, a free down, uh, free down. I can give you a download through the uh, through the phone or the internet. Uh, so several different ways to get our music. So that's what I love about CD Baby. They really put put you out there. So it's really cool. Cool. Um, so how's the um, music scene there in the Dallas Fort Worth area? Man, I tell you what, it is really, really booming. Uh, if you want to be part of a, a big scene, come down to the DFW Metroplex. There's thousands of bands here, and every kind of genre, every kind of style you can imagine. Uh, in Dallas, we got a place called Deep Album. That's a real big home to the metal scene right now. Uh, just so many different clubs and so many different venues and bands. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a big, you know, it's a lot of competition, you know. It's so hard to get fans to follow you and try to get bands to, you know, come and see you. But because there's so many other bands and so many other venues going on all at the same time. But then again, because of there's so many venues, it's, it's a very easy area to, to get a show and get a gig. So... We're really loving it. Um, we play a lot of places in Fort Worth, Dallas, Arlington. We always play at, uh, you know, uh, Reno's in Dallas, the Forest. You got Tomcats, you got Rail Club, Arlington. You got uh, Diamond Gym Saloon. So you know, that's just, you know, just the regular venues. And of course, you know, you got the bigger shows too as well, you know. But uh, the Bomb Factory, Trees, whatnot. Uh, uh, the Gas Monkey Live, <clears throat> Gas Monkey Live, but yeah, that's what I love about the scene down here is that uh, there's just a lot of people down here, and it's growing, it's it's really huge here, and uh, a lot of people, you know, to come and see your show, it's, you just gotta get them to come, <laughs> but hopefully someday, I can, hopefully someday I can make it up to Ohio, man, I would love to go up there, because that's actually where I was born, I was born in Toledo. And, uh, but I was raised since the age of one year old down here. So, someday I'd love to go back home and come and jam out for you guys in Ohio. That'd be cool. There's a lot yeah, of places yeah. around here, but not exactly in the town I'm in right now, but Columbus, Cleveland, Cincinnati, Dayton. There's a few places, and then like Newark, of all places. But sweet, sweet. Pretty decent scene here and there, just depending on what city you're in. And, Columbus is a little harder to get gigs because they're real picky and they want like the big name. So. It's yeah. still a decent scene. That's where I'm originally from. Pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah, I was raised here. I was a little uh, country boy raised out in the country. I had a big farm, whole nine yards. And uh, when I turned 18, graduated from high school, I was. Uh, 
I saw myself either gonna be stuck in this town forever or I'm gonna get the hell out. And I decided to get the hell out. And I, <clears throat> I ended up in Miami, Florida. I uh, lived down there for 17 years, lived on the beach, and uh, did the whole beach thing, surfing thing, and it was really awesome. Uh, that's when I really got introduced to it, some serious music. And so from there on, it's just been doing what I can to, to play music. Yeah, I spent some time in Arlington, so I, I know I know Texas pretty well back in the evening. Oh hell yeah! I used to go to this little dive bar called Rascals. Yeah, no way, Rascals. Yeah. Heck yeah! I don't think it's around no more. I doubt it. <laughs> the little, <laughs> little house converted into a bar and fans played. Uh, yeah, I actually like yeah, went to right. saw a band called Warlock, and after the show, was out in the parking lot. And, I met um, Dimebag there and Jeff and Vinny out in the parking lot, hung out with those guys back in the day cool. when they were only 18, you know, so. Yeah, Warlock, yeah, man. Of, of Texas, so. Warlock's my, my friend, man. Uh, Jerry Warden, dude, he's a uh, 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 LP uh, Jones uh, uh, production, man. And Jerry Warden, dude, he was uh, in that band back in the day, and so. You're right up my alley right there, dude. I know a lot about what you're talking about. So that's a great band. Yeah, they were pretty cool. You know, standard battle. But... Yeah. Was... And you mentioned, mentioned the house transformed into a, a, a nightclub, man. It sounds like back in the day, we had a Joe's Garage over on uh, Fort Worth. That's where I first met you know, Pantera and the, and the whole band. They, they used to play there. And uh, so we hung out and partied and had a good time there. I remember when they set the place on fire, dude, it was pretty incredible. <laughs> yeah, they, they did some fire roads, dude, and set the roof on fire one time. It was pretty incredible. And uh, the bar where he died in, the band there, did a Kiss tribute, and they set the bar on fire. <laughs> it's not too hard to do, man, these smaller venues. Yeah, well, they were dumb enough to have ceiling tiles above the stage. And... <laughs> oh, man. Oh yeah, and that'll do it every time. Yep. You can still see the burn marks up there pretty well. Oh heck yeah. That's been forever. Uh let's see. So anything you like to say to your fans out there before we uh, wrap this up? <clears throat> man, just come and check us out, man. Go on uh go on one of those sites. Um, you know, Spotify. Any of these sites out there that sell music, man, go out there and check us out, man. Please, man, go, go come and support us, dude. We need all the help we can get these days. It's, it's hard as heck to sell your music, and we're going to uh, sell it for a real cheap price. And, and uh, we go on Facebook, give us a like, man, uh, help us spread the word. And, man, I tell you what, from the bottom of our hearts, man, we, we greatly appreciate it. It would really help us out, man. And, uh, like I said, we're, we do it for the love of the music. We don't, we don't really care about getting paid. I know it's great to do it, but I play a lot of shows for free, man, just to, just to get out there and be able to actually hit the stage. So it's uh, not about the money and not about the fame and all that kind of crap to me. Dude. It's just about, you know, it's an artist to get out there and perform every time. And uh, I also, if you check in that Facebook and stuff like that, man, go on and check out, uh, type in Mr. Buttface. We have an on-stage actor that performs with the Extermination of our band every show. He doesn't play an instrument or anything, but he, he wears crazy costumes and this badass mask and a lot of blood and gore. And he performs this horror ritual. And uh, so so you really just, you know, go on Facebook and, and type in uh, Mr. Bloodface, check him out as well. Uh, all the artwork you see on there, it's all done by me. All the uh, artwork on our page is all done by me too as well. So, like I said, man, we greatly appreciate it. You can just, you know, go on Facebook and go on some of these music sites, check us out, buy a, buy a Lisa song or buy an album. And um, we greatly appreciate it, man. And uh, thank you very much. And Ripper Radio is kick ass. It's my favorite online radio station. And uh, just awesome, man. We can't thank you enough and appreciate it for everything. Uh, you're welcome. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, rock on. Probably have you back on again, like when you get a new album or have anything new to say, we'll bring you back in and do some more with you guys. You guys can do as much as 
to have you guys support us as much as uh, I support you guys. So I that's what it's all about, man. If everybody would do that. I mean, this you know, if everybody did that together, pull together as a group and team and support everybody. You know, everybody would have a better shot. You know, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, if we were more like the European scene, we'd be a lot better. Most definitely. All right, all right man, we pretty appreciate it. Thank you very much for everything. And uh, all you Ripper Radio fans out there, tune in, check us out. Thank you, and let the metal rule. All right, man. Until next time, man. Take it easy. Right on. Hands up. Bye. Are we